this video, we're going to be taking a look at Smart EQ Live by Sonable. Smart EQ Live is an adaptive equalizer that analyzes audio signals and then creates a sympathetic curve using its Smart Engine, allowing you to EQ sounds within seconds and making it ideal for live sound use. So let's take a look at this vocal file. I have an instance of Smart EQ Live loaded on here. I'm the one who sees the meaning in your eyes. And let's begin by dialing up one of the profiles. So I'm going to select the vocal profile here. And then we can tweak this a little bit further by adjusting the threshold. I'm the one who sees the meaning to making in your sure eyes. that the audio Try signal passes this threshold and then the smart engine will act on this audio. I'm the one we can also tweak the high, mid and low. This is incredibly useful for live settings as you can tweak the high frequency, mid frequency and low and how fast the smart engine will react in those frequency areas. We can change these frequency areas as well using these sliders here. So for the high frequency I'm going to set fast, mid frequency I'm going to set mid and the low frequencies I'm going to set slow. With these things set up I can now activate the learning process. I'm the one who sees the meaning in your eyes. You try to tell the truth, but all I hear is lies. I'm the one. The smart engine acts dynamically, reacting to different audio signal Don't levels and different frequencies occurring in the audio signal. I'm the one. With auto stop enabled, once it's heard enough of the audio, it will automatically stop and it's created this curve. Let's bypass and unbypass. I'm the one who knows the malice of your smile. Don't talk back anymore, your words aren't worth my while. As you can see, it's incredibly useful for live sound use because of the speed with which you can dial in EQ settings. However, it's also incredibly useful for the studio setting to start to quickly create and mix sounds. If I wanted to go in and tweak this further, I can use the interactive filter and tweak any of these EQ curves. Tweaking the frequency, boost or cut and the cue. I'm the one who knows the malice of your smile. I could also go back to my profile and if I like the way that it treated this vocal, we can save these profiles. Allowing us to recall these settings on a different vocal in a different situation within seconds. Let's take a look at these drums I have loaded here. I pulled these in off uh, a free source. Live kick, hi-hat and snare. I have a smart EQ loaded on each one of these. So let's start with the kick drum. Again, I'm going to dial up the profile. Start the learning process. with auto stop enabled, it automatically stops when it's created a sympathetic EQ curve. See it's notched out a lot of the resonances and also really brought out the transient in the kick drum. If we want to limit the maximum gain using the smart response, we could use this limit control. It sets a limit with which no boost will exceed this limit. Let's bypass and unbypass. Now let's do the same for our hi hat. Again, go to the profile settings, start the learning process. It's quite a quiet sample, so I'm going to bring the threshold down a little bit. Let's bypass and then bypass. And now let's do the same again for our live snare.
We could also bring up the analyzer at this stage, operating in both pre and post. And we could of course go back and retweak some of these settings if we wanted to change the high frequencies in the smart engine to respond, respond a little bit faster. And we can change these frequency bands too. And then reactivate the learning process. With the Smart EQ Live set up on all three of these sounds. Now let's, with them all three highlighted, let's mute and unmute all three of them to see what it's done with these live drum sounds. Bypassed. Unbypassed. can see it's incredibly useful for live settings for quickly dialing up EQ settings on any source sound you can see the profiles listed include all drum sounds vocals guitars pianos and of course you can create and save your own depending on your audio source signal could also be incredibly useful for dialing up EQ settings for the microphone on a presentation as well as we can see it's actually quite useful in the studio as well for dialing up quick mix settings and EQ curves. Be sure to check out Smart EQ Live by Sonable that is available now at adsrsounds.com.